Hey, this is Rob from Radio Free Cybertron, and today I'm going to do a little quick review on uh, some toys that people aren't really quite sure if they like or not. Uh, now, of course, I'm talking about the RPMs. Now, the reason I say people aren't sure if they like or not is because the general consensus in the fandom is that they don't like them. However, they're selling like gangbusters. I don't know if it's the Hot Wheels guys buying these guys, or kids like them. Someone's buying them. Because they're doing well. I mean, they're even coming out with a being renamed Action Fleet with even more toys. Of course, the uh, basic toys are the uh, toy cars here. But they have other things like the little remote control cars, the little bumping battler guys. And with Action Fleet, they got the uh, little cars that you can exactly like this pull and guns and stuff come out. Um, not to mention the basic cars look like they do some basic transformation in uh, Action Fleet, and that's cool. But your standard RPMs are like so. These are the only ones I have. And I'm not sure why I like them, but I do like them. I don't know what the deal is. At first, I wasn't quite enamored with them, but I kept seeing them, and something about them kind of stuck to me. I've only bought four so far, and truthfully, I bought them in those uh, buy one, get one free packs that were out. Um, that's how I got these guys. Uh, so basically, I got six dollars worth of cars here. I'm not really out a lot of money if I decide I don't want any more. Um, but they're nice enough. My first two pack I bought was Optimus and Sideways here. There's Optimus. See him? I guess I'm on an incline. He's a room. Ah! Yeah, a Ladies and gentlemen. Every, almost every off-ramp you'll get onto on the interstate has this scene right here. Okay. Optimus. <sighs> Trucks are so difficult. Optimus here. You can't really complain about him. This is a nice-looking toy truck. It doesn't transform. Okay. It doesn't transform. What do you want? Well, I guess it does. Because you put him on his butt here, and there's Optimus. <sighs> yeah, I know. That's pretty weak. I even like these guys, and that's pretty lame. But, you know what, they're trying to give it at least some form of robot mode, because they're selling on the fact that they're toy cars, not on their robots. But they threw that in just so they can be like, just shut up, there's a robot mode. But whoever's buying them doesn't seem to mind. Optimus himself here, stay still. It's pretty nice, I mean, they're not die cast. I thought they were at first when I first started seeing them. But they're just, um, nope, plastic. And they're pretty much the size of your standard Hot Wheel or Matchbox car. You put them on those racing tracks or buy the... RPM race tracks. Uh, there's the one that's Devastator, and I think they got a Bumblebee themed one coming out. And of course, you can use your hot your uh, Spy Changers or G2 GoBots on those tracks as well. That's funny. Okay, well, there's Optimus. It's it's a pretty decent looking toy. I know they've made some they made a some sort of toy fair or toy show exclusive version of this toy for dealers or whatever. And it looked kind of nice, but for what it is, it's what it, it's what it is. And he came with Sideways here. Truthfully, Sideways is the reason I wanted that two-pack. I mean, I like this car. That's kind of cool looking. That's a cool looking car. Sideways gets a lot of merchandise for a guy who's introduced just to be killed. Sideways is that guy in the first five minutes of every Friday the 13th movie. The only difference is the guy in the first five minutes of the Friday the 13th movie doesn't get a bunch of merchandise. Sideways does. And he gets nice merchandise. Uh, sideways, of course, has the same. There he is. Transformation. But it's still a neat little car. For $3, including tax. And that's I didn't exactly get ripped off. I bought another BOGO pack recently because I decided I want some more. And I got Ratchet and Megatron. See, only certain one of them are doing it. Let's see. Did Sideways? Oh, stay still, Prime. Damn it. Yeah, it's only Prime and uh, Megatron, so I guess the uh, long ones, longer ones are picked. Well, Ratchet's about as long as Prime. And he's not really, I don't know. <laughs> There's some coincidence that the leaders don't want to stand still and want to act up. Stay still. Okay. And I got Ratchet, and he came with Megatron. And, okay, honestly, stay still, Megatron. Megatron's crap. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look totally terrible. It's just, compared to the other cars, this is not very amazing. Um, of course, you gotta give him, a, uh, you gotta give him props or a high five or whatever for attempting to make a Megatron one, at least as a tank, like he is in the new movie. 
I can work something better out with them than that jet that kind of looked like a snow crab. Now, of course, there's the transformation. And there's probably the worst looking Megatron ever. Megatron's not very recommended. Although, if you get him in package with somebody else, why not? Right, let's go look at Ratchet. Ratchet's pretty good. Yeah, it rolls really well. Well, of course, all of them roll really well. They don't have kibble hanging out from them. Ratchet's pretty good. He looks really much like he's supposed to. It's. Oh my god. Am I having an earthquake or something? But, um. Yeah, Ratchet's pretty good. I can't really complain about him. Let's transform him, and. Not bad. I mean, he's just kind of. Oh yeah, I'm Ratchet. Let's transform again. Yeah. Okay, I'll stop being lame. Um, he's acceptable. It's a cool little car toy. These are our really good um, little toys to keep on your desk at work or whatever. Or like me, I just got them popped on a bookshelf or two. I would say this desk would be good for them to hang around for me to do this when I'm bored. Between uh, doing things. But considering apparently there's a slight hill here in my uh, foundation it's making them roll off the desk maybe not <laughs> but do I do I recommend RPMs kinda I kinda recommend RPMs what makes me kinda recommend them well there's not really that bad about them so for people who wouldn't mind just a little Hot Wheels type car of a Transformers character and I know plenty of people have repainted Hot Wheels or Matchboxes to be Transformers characters here they are, really. Um, and they're cheap enough, too. I mean, you get one for about $3. Which, if you look at the price of a Hot Wheel, that's kind of expensive, because a Hot Wheel is a dollar. But these guys are characters. So they cost a little more. And if you can find these, buy one, get one free packs. That was $3. That was $3. And they have those two packs that are about, I want to say six. I don't really know how much they are. And they got the uh, racetrack, which I couldn't even tell you how much it is. And it looks like it comes with some guys, too. Um, they're not really a budget toy, to be truthful. But they're neat, neat enough. It's neat enough. If you if you decided you want to fill your hunger for some plastic crack, but you got to pay the bills and buy groceries first, and you really can't justify spending a lot, you can buy one for $3. Hey. And if anything, you can trade it later for somebody. Um... The action fleet coming out looks pretty cool. So they got little guys like this that look like they do some sort of basic transformation. I mean, it's pretty much, it looks like it just kind of stands up a little and there's a robot on a skateboard, but hey. And those bigger vehicles that turn have guns that pop out, um, the Hound, there's a Hound coming out as one of those that I really want. Aside from that, I'll probably pass. But as it is, the basic little cars right here, I kind of like them. There's something about them I kind of like. I don't see myself getting every single one of them because I don't want every single one of them. But I don't mind getting a few of them. They're kind of fun. So, not to mention, last year at BotCon, Hasbro gave out the Bumblebee one at the table. These make for great handout toys for companies. Think about that. Yeah, no one cares, I know. Anyway, boom. Megatron, stay still. You suck so bad. Stupid Megatron. Hey, look at Ratchet. Okay, well, this is Rob from Radio Free Cybertron. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, check us out at www.tfradio.net for shows and showtime. And uh, thanks for watching.